Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing what can I expect in the next 72 hours. So I hope that the audio is okay. I have it a little bit away from my mouth, so hopefully this is a little bit better. So let's get started with your reading. We have group number one, two, three and four. Please choose your group and let's get started with the reading. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So let's see what's going on for you within the next 72 hours. I also have my little cauldron here with letters in so we're going to see any extra details. So let's see what we have. So starting off with the first card, we have Bear, you are the light. It is safe to step fully into your light. Beautiful, look how beautiful that card is. Then have turquoise, a balance, a throat and heart chakra. We also have Aries, the radical. That is so beautiful. So there's definitely a lot of kind of independent energy here. There's definitely a lot of balancing out your kind of the way you talk and the way you communicate. And you're really kind of stepping fully into that energy, which is really, really beautiful. I love that. That is so gorgeous. I'm sorry if you can hear like my chair squeaking as always. It's annoying. <laughs> so let's get have a look at the other cards. We then have the five of swords which is lovely we also have the four of cups the eight of pentacles and the eight of cups and then imagine lovely okay guys so i feel like for a lot of you you've been feeling really stuck and you just want to move forward a lot of you could be in aries as well you could be feeling like you just want to have balance. You just want to feel really connected to yourself. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's just about, about you really tuning into your own energy and feeling really, really kind of daring and really courageous. I feel like for a lot of you, you felt like you're in the dark. You can't really connect with yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys have just been feeling really stuck and really confused. The thing that's going to happen in the next 72 hours though is you're most likely going to be walking away from an old mindset and you're going to be moving into a place of serenity and happiness and feeling really, really good about yourself. I didn't notice this, but there's these kind of two little like openings here with light coming out of it. So I feel like we're going to get some sort of like radical spark of inspiration i feel like you're gonna feel like i feel like you're gonna feel like you're coming out of that it's almost like this moon is a balloon and it's kind of the moon is a balloon um and it's kind of pulling her out of it and it's got the oracle here i don't know if you can see that lovely gorgeous face so the moon is showing me as well that there's a lot of emotions being pulled out of you that you may feel kind of overwhelmed so i do feel like for a lot of you you just need to kind of focus on your heart this gorgeous heart tattoo that this woman has so I feel like a lot of you, you're just basically balancing out who you are. In the next 72 hours, you're most likely going to get some sort of offer to work on yourself a little bit more. Um, and this offer could be, what's this offer? I feel like it could be to do with work. Um, they're showing me it could be to do with your own health. So you could have like a friend and they're like, oh, do you want to go to the gym? Do you want to start doing some sort of exercise? I'm hearing weights being lifted as well. So you could be doing that. But I feel like it's just an extra kind of, what is this? Just gonna tune into it a little bit. I feel like you're gonna start another project and you're moving away from anything that makes you feel exhausted. Can be people, can be a certain situation, that sort of thing. And you're really speaking your truth. So it could be somebody who's really taking away your power and you're bringing that back, you're drawing that back. So, oh, my leg just got stuck. So let me take out my little dice here. Don't need that. That is to do with dating. So hang on. I didn't even realise I had these in here. My bed. Okay, let's see what number for you two guys to look out for. Number three. Lovely. So that's all about creativity. I'm just going to take these out while we're here. Um, it's about creativity and creating your own path. Okay, gorgeous. There we go. All cleared out and ready to go. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that. Okay. Let's have a little bit of a shuffle. I'm going to see what this this is about as well, because I feel like it could be an offer from somebody. Okay, we have Z, W, we have T, and we also have I. I'm seeing that could be like a zit as well. <laughs> you could be getting quite a lot of spots at the moment. Um, Yeah, wits. I don't know. They, I really feel like there's something... 
to do with an offer and it's 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 almost like the universe is off is getting you to kind of step into your power whatever that means to you doing something that lights you up as well we've got c and we've got b as well so it could be something to do with that i really feel like is there anything else that needs to come through you could be getting an offer about a car if you're waiting on a kind of finance issue or anything that's happened to do with your like cars or anything like that it kind of reminds of the word witch as well so maybe you're stepping into your witchiness your witchy powers and you're feeling much more comfortable with your natural way of being yeah i really like this this is really lovely and you're coming you're moving away and walking away from just anything that no longer serves you and no longer feels good for you and no longer feels restricting let's see what else let's get one more lovely calmness all chakras calcite so you're really going to feel much more calm within yourself and we also have hematite mental strength root chakra hematite is one of my fave crystals I actually have one of my hematite bracelets on now it's one of my faves i love it i'm also going to be selling these in my shop so i'm really excited yay um <laughs> so yeah you're gonna have a you you're, you've gained a lot of mental strength from this situation but you're really kind of channeling and tuning into that right now so that is your reading group one i really hope you enjoyed it if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below uh, i'm doing crystal recommendation nexus so if you'd like any of these crystals or a particular crystal um, in the necklace form then please do contact me on my uh, instagram or on my email so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading we have 808 on my camera which is lovely so let's see what's happening for you guys we have kangaroo Ooh. courage you are being tested have faith and stand in your truth i love that i feel like you guys are searching for something as well i really am connecting to that We'll then have Ruby, Passion, gorgeous. And then we also have Complexity and we also have Deep Knowing. Wow, this group feels like really, really deep and kind of, yeah, it feels really, really nice. I feel like you're definitely gonna, un, un, you're definitely gonna discover something about yourself in the next 72 hours. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands, Three of Wands, we have the King of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Wands. So you guys are really letting go of some stuff that no longer serves you anymore. You're really, I feel like you're having to let go of something that really doesn't serve you anymore. I'm going to see if we can get a little bit more clarification on this. Because you're having, you've got a deep knowing about something. Let me just move my microphone a second. Move that over there. I feel like you've got a deep knowing about something and I really feel like you're being tested on that. revolution <laughs> well so there's definitely some massive expansion going on breakthrough brainstorming the unexpected so yeah it's definitely something coming through you could be meeting an earth sign as well in the next 72 hours and you're having to kind of stand up to this person because possibly you don't possibly you're single and you're like oh i thought i wasn't going to meet anyone but now they they make you feel very passionate and make you feel really really good about yourself they're also telling me it's something to do with your house. So if you're having anything to do with your house, if you're uh, moving house or wanting to move house, this is definitely extra clarification. Sorry, guys, I need to burp. We have the sixth house of craft. This is to do with your diet. This is also to do with your skills, your work. Okay, so I do feel like for a lot of you, you're looking after your body and this is going to give you some really big revolutions. You're definitely going to get some communication. Okay. I hope this is making sense, guys. I'm getting a lot of different information from this group. Let me get a little bit more clarification on this communication. What's this communication from? I feel like for some of you guys, you could have communication on a health problem that's going to it's gonna be really, really good. And um, we also have flow. So flowing with communication, um, letting yourself be who you are. And you could be meeting some people through a group activity, through a community, through friendship you could be meeting somebody really really unexpectedly and they can make you feel very very passionate so this complexity i feel like it's to do with your mind and the way you see yourself i feel like you're really letting go of some old beliefs about yourself because you've you've learned a lot and in the past i feel like you would have just overlooked this but now you i feel like you're really looking into it and i'm really looking at these bottles here we've got bottles here and we've got bottles here so 
it could be to do with alcoholism, it could be to do with even back to flower remedies, you could be taking some new supplements, something like that, and it could make you just feel really, really good because you feel much more healthier and, and more comfortable in your body. I'm really look at the, looking at the word lubricates here with this try and flow, so it does feel like things are flowing more easier for you within hemp seeking and mystery so whatever is going on i can't i can't seem to pick it up so for a lot of you guys it's going to be something very very unexpected and mysterious it could be somebody who's who's coming back from the past they could live quite far away um, and we also have gemini as well so they could be a gemini um but this wheel of fortune is really really lovely we've also got the sun here so you're really there's a lot of messages in this group so i hope at least one of the messages is going to resonate with you guys but if not that's totally fine you're welcome to choose another group but look how you are kind of moving and stepping into your own power you're stepping into a place where you're looking out but you're actually like moving forward you're not stuck in this i have no idea where i'm going i don't know what i'm doing you're really stepping into that and you're actually moving forward i feel like you could have communication on some unknown thing. I feel like this is really, really good. This feels very, very positive. This feels like fuck yes. F yes, I'm moving forward and I'm in my power. And with this Wheel of Fortune, it's making me feel like you guys are really gonna, you're really gonna be thankful that this happened because I feel like for a lot of you, you've been waiting for this. You've been carrying some heavy burdens and you're gonna realize something about a certain situation. Um, there could be people who are testing you as well and you're starting to learn actually who they really are and you're really learning about yourself as well. So group two, let's have a look at your little letters and see what we get here. Okay, this one I feel like is very significant. Q, so it could be questioning yourself possibly. So we have Q, let's see what number to look out for as well. Number five, lovely. So we've got five and six, which is 11, which is two which is beautiful. We have Q, Z, R, F, and W. So if any of those resonate with you guys, then let me know. That's amazing. Um, so that's your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you'd like a personalised uh, crystal recommendation necklace, then um, please contact me on my Instagram or email and I can get that done for you and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you can expect in the next 72 hours. Sorry about my squeaky chair. Also I have some uh, letters in here so for you guys uh, we're going to see if there's anything that is going to be picked up in there. So let's see what we have. We have Golden Unicorn, Ascension, Awaken Your Soul's Potential. Ooh, I love that, that's pretty. And then we also have the Sloth. Oh, I love Sloths, they're one of my favorite animals. Digital Detox, Recalibrate, Reset and Recharge. And then we also have Clear Quartz Meditation. And we have Venus, Love, beautiful, yay. I love it when love, love comes in, it always makes you really, really happy. Okay, so let's see what else we have. We then have Yang. Oh my God, some of you are gonna get into a relationship. Relationship time, baby. Okay. We have the Six of Swords. Fudge. Yes, 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 yes. Two of Cups, beautiful. Hell freaking yeah. Okay. You can tell that I'm excited. Um, <laughs> I think we're getting that impression. Um, so let's see what other number is coming for you also. Number four, beautiful, we have stability. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, so for a lot of you guys, this is definitely to do with love. Um, for a lot of you guys, this could be a partner. You could, if you are already, um, if you are, okay, I can't talk, I'm so excited. If you're already coupled, I feel like for a lot of you guys, your relationship could be improving. Your partner could be getting a new job. For those of you who are looking for love, you guys are really looking after yourself and that is definitely showing. You guys are most likely gonna meet somebody in the next 72 hours. Oh my God, hell yeah. Um, for a lot of you guys, you definitely going towards um, a job also that really, really suits you. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're gonna be kind of starting something new and therefore you meet some really, really amazing people and one of those people could be your potential partner. 
Um, you could also be starting something new in work and then there could be that partner there. For those of you in particular who um, resonate as a female, a feminine, you guys are going to be meeting your masculine. I really do feel that for a lot of you guys who are definitely even, especially for those of you who are resonating as female and would like a male masculine, you're definitely going to meet them. They're really fiery, most likely going to be a fire sign. And you are moving into a more kind of luxurious, loving kind of relationship where you're not suffering and you're not feeling like you're left behind. If you would like to connect with this partner and you haven't and you don't know who it is yet, um, meditation is going to be really good for you. You can connect with them on soul level. Um, and you do connect with them on soul level. You can just talk to them through um, meditation. With this digital detox, it's basically telling you um, that you don't need to worry. You don't need to worry that things will happen when they need to happen. And the way to attract this even more is to literally just be your entire self and not to, um, not to, what's the word, give me the word, not to buffer yourself, not to stop yourself from being who you are. And with this digital detox, it's really showing me that you guys possibly need to just kind of get away from your phone a little bit and possibly get away from technology and be in nature and possibly you might meet them through actually um, conservation, like something to do with looking after animals. You could be a vet, you could be, um, so yes, something to do with animals as well. So this is really amazing. I love this so much. For a lot of you, you could be wanting a new job if it's not love you're looking for. You could be um, going into a new job or a club or a society where you meet a lot of like-minded people. This could be your tribe as well, your... your um, you have a friendship group it could be also the way you connect with your family is going to be much more um it's going to be ascending ascending to the next level and you're going to feel much more comfortable with your family members you're going to be able to be your entire self and whatever your venus is in i feel like it's really being accelerated right now and venus at the moment is in taurus and i feel like it's very much i feel like i think it's in taurus very much in that energy of love and very and taurus loves like venus is very very happy in taurus very uh, love energy is very kind of strong and very like connected to love and uh, relationships that sort of thing so very great I feel like for a lot of you guys you could be just really loving yourself and being in your masculine energy you're really asserting yourself you're really moving forward and a lot of your physical kind of everything a lot of physical things are happening for you instead of things being stagnant things are really moving forward and you're taking initiative and things externally are happening they're not just internal anymore and you're going to see a lot of movement wow guys you got a, you got a really gorgeous group um and with meditation it's really important for you to meditate especially with this digital detox being right next to it just kind of getting in your within yourself and really relaxing and not paying attention to other people in that moment just really do this for yourself and looking after yourself and know that you are ascending and you're this golden unicorn you're absolutely beautiful and I love the sloth he's so slow they're so beautiful I just oh, I love sloth so much I think they're such interesting animals so let's see what letter we have for you guys I need to just like spread them around so we have k we have r and z we have I, W, and F. And then we also have the letter M. I feel like I'm getting WWF as well for you guys, which is really, really interesting. But if any of these are kind of sitting well with you, then that is going to be something, uh, an extra message for you guys. So I'm going to pull a couple more cards for you guys. I want to see what else wants to come through for group number three. Anything else for group number three, please? Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh my god, this group. I am so freaking happy. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sex. <laughs> Ready capital, Kundalini energy. So, if, if those of you who are of age to uh, get freaky, then now is your time get freaky so there's definitely going to be somebody who's interested in you guys and also if you are a masculine looking for a feminine or you're a feminine looking for a feminine that is still obviously applying here i just feel like it's just an extra message for those of you who are looking for a male so we have wisdom a very very strong time for you guys to be really really connected to your own energy and this person's going to be very mysterious they could have scorpio energy they could have aquarius energy i'm hearing 
Also Taurus. Oh, lovely. Going to have a lot of communication in this relationship. And it's going to be a very big opportunity for you guys. Could be, a, it's, I'm hearing a big opportunity in your artistic endeavours and your creativity. You could be collaborating with people and a lot of communication happening. A lot of open doors. You could be meeting somebody for a friendship group, for a community, through startups. So things like that. And then we also have Gemini, the butterfly. So somebody is going to be very communicative to you. You're going to have a really good community. You're going to have very good conversations. And this person is going to be really sociable. You're most likely going to be collaborating with this person on some sort of work endeavor. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe down below, please do. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you'd like a, a crystal recommendation, then um, please let me know. Um, I can do I do crystal recommendation necklaces, so I can get one of those done for you. Um, I'm looking at getting my own website, guys, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, as I say, if you like private reading, all my information is down below, and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's happening in the next 72 hours. Peacock, self-love. Time to celebrate you and all your magnificent light. Oh, I love that. That's really cute. We then have a fluorite, a spirit guides, the third eye chakra. We then have the chopped wood. Let's put that in the middle. And then we also have clean it up. Beautiful. Okay, so a lot of kind of earthy energy, a lot about connecting with yourself. We then have the first house of the self. <laughs> Just to clarify, the guides are like, right, we really need to clarify this. We have the ace of swords, ace of pentacles, death and the king of cups so for a lot of you guys you're really healing your masculine part of you you're really healing that part of you that needs to have love and attention that really needs to kind of be nurtured well <coughs> excuse me um i feel like for a lot of you guys you are connecting with your um your transformative energy for a lot of you guys you could be wanting to be in a relationship and that's definitely coming towards you guys in the next two hours i can see a lot of self-love and people recognizing that in you and therefore you're going to get communication there's going to be like some sort of business offer here and then we also have the death card as well so a lot of you guys are exiting your old self and moving into your new self becoming more happier with where you are and being like yes bitch feeling really really good about myself so if you're not feeling too good about yourself right now i do feel like that's going to change um for those of you who i'm hearing for those of you who are in relationships um your masculine whoever is the masculine in the uh relationship uh, is most likely going to be really really kind of content and their emotions are going to be really settled so if they've been having issues and things are going to start looking up health problems as well those of you having health problems i do feel a lot of you guys are going to have a good day or are going to feel a lot better you know uh, obviously that's not a guarantee guys so let's take this as, uh, with a grain of salt this is just a general uh reading so with this ace of swords with the ace of pentacles you're most likely going to have a job offer coming in um or something that's going to accelerate you in your career and for those of you who are um who are wanting that and i definitely see that coming through so we also have 21 and 42 you're really kind of looking after yourself you're looking after your own health your really focusing on what makes you feel good you they're pointing at you they're saying you like whatever makes you feel good and for those of you who are wanting a masculine um partner those of you who are possibly women wanting them masculine or you know whatever gender isn't really important the actual energy of masculine if that's what you're looking for i do feel like a lot of you're going to find that could be a cancerian pisces or scorpio and yeah, I feel like your spirit guides are really, really around you. I feel like look for rainbows as well and possibly look for like moose or, you know, I don't know, household objects. <laughs> That's kind of ob obvious, but I feel like for you guys, it's basically just clearing up and detoxifying a lot of old, old negative cycles. That's what this death card is all about. But I feel like some of you guys, you could be quitting an old job or starting a new one or both in the same day. I don't know. Things, weird things can happen. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are really stepping into your own power and you're really stepping into where you're meant to be going. Like I really feel like you're deliberately choosing where you're meant to be going and you're not letting it stop you from where you need to go. I really feel like that's really like a very, very strong message. Yeah, I feel like that's very, very strong. I really, really like that. Is there anything else that needs to come through? 
I don't feel there's an opportunity. I'm just hearing opportunity. I'm hearing guidance as well. So you could have somebody guiding you. Let's see what number to look out for. What number representing this situation. Four. Yeah, very stable. So your, things could be changing within your house as well. Say we've got clean up and chop wood. So um, focusing on your mon on mundane tasks. And sometimes that's something you possibly just need to focus on. Maybe you haven't really been focused on your house or anything around your home that's really being looked into right now. So let's see what else we have. Okay, so we have O M or O W O M O M B, which is really cool. We have that. We have Q and Y. We then have F W G and K. So if any of those kind of make any more any sense, then you know that could be like a message for you. Um, I feel like like the bomb is in like when someone says oh my god you're the bomb like feel like really really happy about yourself and feeling really really good or like boom like amazing kind of like happiness happening i just i love it it's, it's really cute um i'm hearing like kapow and like bam and like kazam <laughs> kazam i don't know <laughs> i really don't know guys i'm i'm feeling a bit delirious now after doing this fourth group um yeah i really feel like a lot of you guys are going to feel very happy there's definitely a lot of masculine energy changing. I'm getting the message that this is actually quite a big message. I feel like the collective in terms of the masculine energy, the feminine energy in masculines is rising. So for a lot of you guys, if you have been in a relationship with a masculine and it's been feeling quite rocky, I feel like that's going to really smooth over or it's, or it's just basically you're going to be moving on to somebody who suits you much better if you've been unhappy or not feeling very content. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this reading, please let me know down below. Please subscribe if you'd like to. And also if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. And if you'd like a crystal recommendation necklace, they are cleansed by me, intentioned by me, and I can also add Reiki in there too. Please let me know uh, through Instagram or email. You can ask me for that and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.